Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, your boy, Myrtle, and today, we back with another- <laughs> Yo, I missed this. Like, I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done a fun memory in a while, so let's do it how we used to. <sighs> fun memories with Myrtle! Today's story that I'm gonna be talking about is about the weirdest interview I've ever had. So it was a couple years back and I wasn't working at the time, but I knew I wanted to do something with video. I reached out online because I wanted to look for experience on how to work the camera properly. And yeah, I just, I was really unexperienced with the camera. So I wanted to do something with video. I found a guy online and his name was Barry. I'm not really sure what his organization was, but it was like a non-profit organization and he had an ad for his service so I look at the address that this guy posts online and I was like I don't think this is a business I think this is where he actually lives and it was kind of tripping me out because I was like uh, why is it telling me to go to an apartment to meet up I ended up calling him up and asking him if he can help me out trying to show me how video works how camera properly works and yeah I just gave him a shout out he answered the phone Hello? and I was like um this does not sound like a business phone this sounds like his actual cell number so I was like hmm this is a little Bonk. fishy he ended up setting up a date with me at three o'clock to meet him at the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe and I've never been there before but I was just like all right I guess it's gonna be more of a casual kind of interview and coincidentally I had a job interview for an assistant manager position at a theater nearby, near there anyway, I feel like 4.30. So I was like, all right, this is more convenient for me because after I can have an interview with him, I can go check out that job interview after that. So eventually, it was perfect to meet there. So at the time, I didn't have a car back then, so I had to bust to that place. And the only thing is that I had no idea what oh, this no. dude looked like. It was like 2.30 already, so I was like, all right, cool, I'm here early. It was a cafe, so I was like, damn, I'm a little early. I should just grab a drink and a snack and whatever, just munch out, wait for this dude to come. So I take my seat and I see four people in the room. There was a couple sitting together in the corner. There's an old guy wearing a cast and this dude looked tiny. And then on the other side, there was a girl with just like on her laptop. I was like, I... I guess this dude won't be here for a while, so just chill. I ended up finishing my food, and it was like 2.50 now. And I'm like thinking, what the hell, man? Did, that, did I just get stood up by this dude? Like, the whole time that I was there, no one entered or left the cafe since I've been here. And I started having doubts. I'm like, man, I don't think this guy is coming here. Then it hits 3.10, and I'm like, dude, like, I'm having doubts. This dude is not fucking coming for me. Like, this dude does not give a fuck about me. And then I start thinking to myself, man, wouldn't it be funny if, like, the person that I was supposed to meet is actually here the whole time that I've been sitting here? So I, like, start looking around, and I'm like, hmm, probably not that couple, because why would they come here? It's probably not that girl who sat alone at the table. I'm like, no way, it's this tiny dude, like, tiny old guy. And he has like a broken arm with a cast on right now. So I was like, okay, whatever. I got no other choice. I'm gonna ask that old dude if that's him or not. I came up to the dude and I was like, yo, you Barry? The tiny dude with the cast on his arm looks up at me and he says, why yes, I am Barry. Are you fucking kidding me, man? This dude was fucking here the whole time. This was a dude I was waiting for. This fucking guy that I was waiting for like 40 minutes and we were in the same fucking room together. Holy shit. We start talking and then he like asked me if I have any background skills in like video or photography and I'm like I'm like yeah well I went to Tech Vox for like one year and like I took photography back then but that was like the only experience I had. But I only went for one year and that was like for grade 10. And then I went to like another school after that. And then after that, it wasn't even a fucking interview anymore. He was name dropping all the freaking people that he's been doing video and photography for, all the people he's met, like all these people he, he has connections with and everything. And I was just like, dude, you gotta chill, man. Like, but I'm there standing like this the whole time. Like the whole time, I was just thinking, let the dude talk, let him do his thing. I need the camera experience work, just smile and nod. So after he finally stopped telling me about what he would bring if he was stuck on a deserted island, I was like, all right, man, I gotta go. Will we be working together? He was like, yeah, 
let's give it a try. Let's go from there. We both got up and he was like, hey, I wanna ask you a favor before we leave. I was like thinking to myself, all right, man, you got this far to the interview, don't mess this up. We got this. I was like, all right, what's up? He was telling me that he was getting his bike fixed and he needed me to help carry it for him. And I was like, nah. Obviously, I was trying to get some work experience. So I was like, all right, man, let's go, let's go. We walked to the bike shop that was near the exchange district. And I was like, yo, this bike shop is in a basement? Like, motherfucker. The bike shop was actually pretty cool, though. It was like a place where they had like custom bikes and they fixed a bunch of shit. And like, it was like things you never, bikes you never even really seen before. He pays for his bike. I carry his bike up the damn stairs. And I'm like thinking in my head, man, I gotta go to my job interview soon. Like, it's like soon and I still gotta walk there. But the whole time I was saying, I was like, do it for the work, man. Just do it for the work. Just do it for the work. I was like, all right, Barry, I gotta go. So just when I thought it was over, and I thought we were gonna go part ways, he looks at me and he goes, hey, you got 20 bucks I could borrow? And I was like, now nah, I'm just playing. That last part I made up. But I did go to my job interview after that. And actually, that's not like the last story I have of him. I got one more after that. But we'll save that for another episode. Thanks for watching. It's been a minute since I posted one of these fun memories with Murdo. Hit the bell, hit subscribe, comment down below if you want to hear the next story of what happened when I met the dude again. Thanks for listening to my story. Alright, peace out, homies.